So one of the questions we get asked all the time is when you add clothing to an online store, like these uh, Red Van shoes I set up in the first video, how can we add different sizes? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. So in our admin panel, I've got the uh, edit product page open and I'm going to come up the top and I'm going to click on options from the list of tabs here. I'm going to come down to the bottom right and click add option. I have to give the option a name, so we're going to call it size. You can choose the type of the option, so a drop down box, a check box, could be text area, could be asking the customer to upload a file. I'm going to leave it as select box. And now I'm going to come up the top and I'm going to click this tab here called variance. Uh, I'm going to click this little blue plus button to give me a few different rows here. And now under name, I'm going to put in the different sizes that we have available for the shoes that I'm going to add to my online store, for example. So I might have size 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, under modifiers here, you have the ability to change the price or the weight of the product based on the option that's selected. So let's say size 13 is going to cost $4 more, you just put a 4 in there. That's not saying the price is going to cost $4 for a size 13, it's going to say it's going to add $4 to the original base price of the product. And you can make that a fixed dollar amount, or you can click this drop down box and make it a percentage, and you can do the same for weight over here. I'm going to leave that blank though, uh, because I'm not going to charge any different based on the different sizes. So then I'm going to click create, and in our options list, you see we now have size. Now I'm actually going to go back into uh, the window that we just closed by clicking edit here. And the reason I'm doing this is because now we have an option that we didn't have before we created this option, which is this inventory checkbox here. Now what this is doing is this is telling CSCart that this option for this product should, have, should track inventory differently. So what that means is, to give you two different examples, let's say you have an option which could be gift wrapping. Are you going to gift wrap the product? Uh, gift wrapping uh, is something that you'd probably do when you ship the product. So you don't need to track different inventory for you know the shoes that you have that are gift wrapped versus the shoes that aren't gift wrapped. That's not two different uh, levels of stock. But size, for instance, for shoes, that's something you do need to track because you have a certain amount of sho uh, shoes in size 8 and a certain amount of shoes in size 9 and so on and so forth. So because of that, you need to check this box and press save. Now, once that's saved, I'm going to click on the general tab again and I'm going to scroll down under pricing and inventory. Next to inventory, make sure track with options is selected and press save. Okay, so straight away, if we uh, search for shoes in the quick search box here, you'll notice something different with these shoes that I've got set up compared to the other products here. Under the quantity column, all these products just have a little text box where you can put in how many of that product you've got in stock. But when it comes to these shoes, because I'm tracking them with options now, there's now an edit link instead because there's not just one quantity count for those shoes. There's different sizes of shoes. So obviously there's different stock levels. So we click edit. And uh, at the moment, we don't have any shoes in stock because it says we have no items defined. So what we need to do is click Add Combination. And we have the different sizes that we set up before in this drop-down menu. And then we specify here how many of that size we have in stock. So I might have 10 of each. So I'll put in 10 there. Click the little sheep icon, which is the clone icon. Four times, so I've got... 10 of size, maybe we'll have, you know, 12 of size 11. In size 12, we might only have 4. And, you know, what? maybe we have 0 for size 13. So I'm going to click Create. And there we go. You can actually set, now if you want to, you can set different product codes and different images for these uh, different sizes. But you can see size 13 has a quantity. Size 12 has a quantity. Size 11 has its own quantity and size 10 has its own quantity. So we press save. And now we have a look at it in our storefront. We'll refresh the page. And there we go, we have a drop down box. And it updates in real time as well. So you notice if I select size 13, um, let me just make a change here. Let's say that we have no size 13 in stock. So now we refresh the page. Now I select size 13. It's going to say out of stock. 
But if I select size 11, I can uh, proceed to checkout again.